Hi everyone, this is going to be a tutorial video on how to track your class attendance using the attendance tool in Brightspace. To access the attendance tool, you will click on this classroom button right here. So classroom and then attendance. And it will bring up this screen right here. So this is where you kind of need to decide how you want to track your attendance, whether you want to use um, present, absent, or whether or not you want to also count tardies into your attendance register. So if you're somebody who wants to um, count and to keep track of when students are late or tardy, you would have to create a new attendance scheme. So you would click on attendance scheme and then you would click on new scheme. So you would name it whatever you want to name it. Um, it's probably easiest just to name it based off of the course that you're teaching, but we'll do, since this is my sandbox course, we'll do sandbox attendance 2020. That'll work. So the symbol right here just is the symbol that you want to use to track it. So P for present, um, A for absent, T for tardy. Status full name is just what each of these symbols mean. So present, absent, and tardy. This assigned percentage right here, we're just gonna skip and we're gonna leave it blank. This is basically, if you included percentages in here, it would add to the overall percentage based on the attendance of each student. That can get a little complicated with math, so we're gonna skip it for this video, but if you would like to learn more about that, just contact us and we'd be more than happy to help you. So after that, you can hit save and then close. And then we can see right here, so this is going to be the attendance scheme for this course. Um, you can see up here that there's already organization scheme. So there's a system scheme, which is the default. So if you didn't create a scheme, this would be the default scheme, but that would only track presence when students are present and when they're absent. So it just depends on how you want to track your attendance. To get back to the attendance register, you click on attendance register, and then to create a register for your course, you will hit new register. Same thing, you'll name it whatever you want to name it. So if you want to name it fall 2020, sandbox is what we're going to name this one you can name it based off of the course title of the course that you're teaching and then add the semester or what have you you'd want to click on your attendance scheme so if you want to use the system scheme you can if you want to use a custom scheme like we just created you would click on the custom scheme that you just created um, this is the cause for concern percentage that we were talking about before with the math um, so we're going to skip that. If you would like to know more about that, again, just contact us and we can help you with that. If you want your students to be able to keep track of their own attendance and see that um, you're keeping track of it and see what you're doing, you can click on this little checkbox right here. Um, you want to include all the users in the course and then the sessions down here are going to be all of the times that you're trying to keep track of your attendance. So if it were an online course, you might wanna just do it weekly. So like week one, week two, week three. If it's a face-to-face -face course, you can keep track of each day that they're supposed to meet um, throughout the semester. So you can enter the dates there. To make things easy, we're just gonna do week one, week two, and week three. So again, if you wanted to do it based, if, you meet, if you're teaching a face-to-face -face class that meets every Tuesday, Thursday, you can put down the actual dates for each of these little sessions and you can add as many as you need. So if you wanna add five more, you can hit five right here and then hit add sessions and it will add five more. So it's easy to do that. You can keep track of all the way throughout the entire semester. Um, session description, you can keep blank. And then the order that you want them to be in. So you'd want them to be in chronological order. So then you'll hit save. Okay, and then you'll hit close. So now your attendance scheme is right here. So these are all different attendance schemes that I created. So this is gonna be the one for that I just created to access it, you would hit click on it. And then to keep track of your weekly attendance for each student, you would click on this little button right here. And then you would pick your attendance status. So let's say all of these, these three were present, John's student was absent, Kurt was tardy and Tim was present. So you do that right there, P, 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 A, T, P, however you wanna do it, hit save, then hit close. And now you'll be able to see week one, who was present, who was absent, who was tardy. And then it keeps a little tally over here for each of your students um, based on how many total absences and present, or how many times they were present, how many times they were absent, and how many times they were tardy throughout the whole semester. It'll keep track of that as you go. 
Um, it's important to note that the attendance tool does not link to the grade book. So this is gonna be more of like a personal tally for you. Um, so if you need to figure out how to set that up with the grade book and entering grades that way, you would just have to create a grade item for it. Um, but other than that, um, that is how you use the attendance tool in Brightspace. And um, if you have any questions, please contact us at OTLE and we'd be more than happy to help you. Thanks.